The modern followers of Muhammad, understanding perfectly well the implications of a 53-year-old man having sex with a 9-year-old child, do their worst to either deny or pervert the very Muhammadan records that tell us this sordid story. Please elaborate. Although we have addressed part of this issue in other earlier chapters, nonetheless it is one of the more sordid episodes in Muhammad's conduct that even modern Muhammadan scholars do their worst to hide. According to tradition, Muhammad married her when she was a child of six years of age and he was 50 years old, so young in fact that she brought with her her toys. This evidence alone shows that psychologically and socially she was still an innocent and immature child. He consummated his marriage with her at the age of nine years, when he was 53 years old. The waiting period of three years had to do with the fact that at that time Aisha had contracted a disease, whereby she temporarily lost all her hair. The so-called disease was actually due to the immense shock of a child being handed over to a much older person. Such psychological traumas can and do produce almost instant side effects, such as loss of hair or even hair turning white. Sahih al-Bukhari hadith 6.399 narrated by Yusuf bin Mahik. I was in the house of Aisha, the mother of the believers. She said, this revelation, nay, but the hour is their appointed time and the hour will be more previous and more bitter. 54.46 was revealed to Muhammad at Mecca while I was a playful little girl. Sahih Bukhari 7.18 narrated by Ursa. The Prophet asked Abu Bakr for Aisha's hand in marriage. Abu Bakr said, But I am your brother. The Prophet said, You are my brother in Allah's religion and his book, but she is lawful for me to marry. Abu Bakr was so shocked at Muhammad's proposal to marry his child Aisha of six years that he told him, But I am your brother. This word, but which in Arabic is innama, brings out the true disbelief of Abu Bakr regarding the request, which of course turned out to be an unchallengeable demand. Abu Bakr's shock alone is evidence that what Muhammad was demanding was against the social norms of even the pagans of 1400 years ago. Since his companions actually believed him as the messenger of Allah, Muhammad was able to fulfill each and every one of his fantasies, lusts and desires. Muhammad was able to receive alleged divine verses, sanctifying them with made-to-order revelations from his accomplice, the ever-obedient and willing Allah. Sahih al-Bukhari 5.234, narrated by Aisha. The Prophet engaged me when I was a girl of six years. We went to Medina and stayed at the home of Ben al-Harith bin Khazraj. Then I got ill and my hair fell down. Later on, my hair grew again, and my mother, Umm Ruman, came to me while I was playing in a swing with some of my girlfriends. She called me, and I went to her, not knowing what she wanted to do with me. She caught me by the hand and made me stand at the door of the house. She halted me at the door, and I burst into laughter. I was breathless then, and when my breathing became all right, she took some water and rubbed my face and head with it. Then she took me into the house. There in the house I saw some Ansari women who said, Best wishes! and Allah's blessing and the good luck. Then she entrusted me to them, and they prepared me for the marriage. Unexpectedly, Allah's apostle came to me in the afternoon, and my mother handed me over to him, and at that time I was a girl of nine years of age. The date of their so-called marriage was circa 621 CE, one or two years after the Hijrah. It is obvious that he did not consummate his marriage to her earlier because of her illness an illness that came about due to the shock of the events that were taking place around a little uncomprehending child girl. Sahih Bukhari 9.139, narrated by Aisha. Allah's apostle said to me, You were shown to me twice in my dream before I married you. I saw an angel carrying you in a silken piece of cloth, and I said to him, Uncover her, and behold, it was you. I said to myself, If this is from Allah, then it must happen. Muhammad started dreaming of Aisha when she was less than six years of age. He wasted no time in fulfilling his desire, in spite of the fact that the object of his lust was a mere child. Is it normal for a man of 50 plus to dream of a union with a baby girl? As usual, Muhammad created a scene in association with the angels and Allah to justify the immoral and the unjustifiable. Sahih Muslim, Book 8, Number 
3311. Aisha reported that Allah's Apostle married her when she was seven years old, and she was taken to his house as a bride when she was nine, and her dolls were with her, and when he died, she was 18 years old. The Holy Prophet died when he was 63, so he must have married Aisha when he was 51, and went to her when he was 54. Sahih Bukhari, Volume 5, Book 58, Number 245, narrated by Aisha. I never remembered my parents believing in any religion other than the true religion, i.e. Islam. If Aisha was older, i.e. 16 or 18, as some Muslims claim, she would have remembered the religion of her parents prior to becoming Muslims. Sahih al-Bukhari 7.88, narrated by Ursa. The Prophet wrote the marriage contract with Aisha while she was six years old and consummated his marriage with her while she was nine years old and she remained with him for nine years, i.e. till his death. Sahih Bukhari 8.151, narrated by Aisha. I used to play with the dolls in the presence of the Prophet and my girlfriends who also used to play with me. When Allah's Apostle used to enter my dwelling place, they used to hide themselves, but the Prophet would call them to join and play with me. Fath al-Bari, page 143, volume 13, explains the obvious. The playing with the dolls and similar images is forbidden, but it was allowed for Aisha at that time, as she was a little girl not yet reached the age of puberty. Muhammad was invariably permitted by the ever-obliging Allah to have Allah's rules broken only in his case. Once again, another Muhammadan scholar confirms that Aisha had not then reached puberty. Sunan of Abu Dawood, Hadith 2380, narrated by Aisha. The Prophet used to kiss her and suck her tongue when he was fasting. Al-Tirmidhi Hadith 6182, narrated by Aisha. Gabriel brought a picture of her on a piece of green silk to Allah's Messenger and said, This is your wife in this world and the next. In this Hadith, Gabriel brought a picture of Aisha, but not Aisha herself. It seems that Allah found a great deal of time to accommodate and be at the back and call of Muhammad's personal needs as well as those of his household. None of the Hebrew prophets ever received such minutai of attention to their personal requirements and comfort even those with whom he befriended as Abraham or talked direct to Moses. Sahih al-Bukhari 1.229 Narrated by Aisha I used to wash the traces of Janaba, semen, from the clothes of the Prophet, and he used to go for prayers while traces of water were still on it. Sahih al-Bukhari, Volume 7, Book 62, Number 17, narrated by Jabir bin Abdullah. When I got married, Allah's Apostle said to me, What type of lady have you married? I replied, I have married a matron. He said, Why? Don't you have a liking for the virgins and for fondling them? Jabir also said, Allah's Apostle said, Why didn't you marry a young girl? so that you might play with her and she with you. In the classic history of the life of Muhammad, Sirat Rasulullah by Ibn Ishaq, page 311, there's an account in which Muhammad expressed a marital interest in a crawling baby. This event seems to have occurred around the time of the Battle of Badr, which would have made Muhammad approximately 55 years old. Suhaili 2.79 in the Riwayah of Yunus, Ibn Ishaq recorded, that the Apostle saw her, Umm al-Fadl, when she was a baby crawling before him and said, If she grows up and I am still alive, I will marry her. But he died before she grew up. So Muhammad's interest in young girls extended beyond Aisha. Why would anyone think that Muhammad's sexual interest in babies be the timeless expression of the will of Allah? How does such a prurient desire support Muhammad's claim to be a prophet of Allah? Such a desire by an old man is contrary to nature and it is a perversion against the moral order of Allah's universe. Ladies and gentlemen, so-called believers and unbelievers, be aware that in the Arabic language of Muhammad's time, a single word, nikah, meant having sexual intercourse, marriage or rape. Since Aisha was six years old, when she was so-called married to Muhammad, nakaha, which is way below the age of intelligent consent, and as the Ahadith demonstrate, Aisha was his unwilling partner. When he penetrated her at the age of nine, the same word, nakahaha, is used. Yet again, consent was not given. Hence, based entirely upon all the evidence at hand, 
This is purely a case of rape. Muhammad raped Aisha. As an aside, although Muhammad preferred to have sex with the young Aisha more than any of the other eight wives, she was not able to conceive. It should be pointed out that he most probably damaged her reproductive system by penetrating her at such a very early age. So-called believers, go to Google and investigate this subject and you will find to your shock and amazement that the current Mohammedan sources tell you that he married her at the age of 10 to 11 and consummated their marriage at the age 14, 18 or 19. Why pervert the original hadiths and deceive the readers if it was a morally, culturally and biologically acceptable case? 